We also need to talk about what's happening in China because Chinese equities have really outperformed this month. Walk me through the direction of travel from here and what do we need to see in the mainland in order to have a sustained recovery in the demand for Chinese risk assets? Look, China has been, um, you know, it has been a, a serial disappointment. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't say valuation is a reason not to be investing at, at you know, eight and a half, uh, eight and a half times um, uh, PE. It, it is incredibly attractive to, to, to allocate there. The challenge we've got is its consumer sentiment is so, so low. And in our view, there's two things that need to be addressed here. One of them is, is demand. And the other one is really some, some corporate governance. On the demand side, thus far, the the intervention that we've seen from China has really hinged around things like infrastructure spend and industrial output. Both of those are increasing supply. And in actual fact, that's deflationary. And deflation is the one thing that really concerns us when, um, and it's an extreme sort of view, but I think if you, if you talk about Japan and Japanification, China has to be really careful there. To, to improve that consumer sentiment and consumer demands specifically, they need to address that through sort of a fiscal um, stimulus. And, you know, borrowing maybe uh, from the, uh, the playbook of the U.S. in 2020, putting money directly into uh, consumers' pockets to get them to spend, I think would go a long way there. Um, in the guidance side, if we look at something like what the Tokyo Stock Exchange has done, they've specifically gone out and, and looked to target companies with very high cash balances. And MSCI China on a market cap basis has more than a third in cash and, and, and in short-term investments. If you could get them to start looking to invest that through, um, and through as a result, buybacks and dividend uh, payouts, I think you could improve ROE, improve um, investor sentiment, and on top of that, improve consumer sentiment.